Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about regular expressions, one of the most powerful tools in our NLP toolkit. So we've all had to do this at some point. You have a huge document and you have to try to correct some tiny detail, uh, but doing it by hand would take forever. We probably want some way to get to complex patterns quickly, like the pattern on the example here. It has some sentences that have that are separated by two spaces. Some sentences are separated by three spaces and some sentences that are separated by one space. And we probably want to regularize that. We want to turn everything into one space, two spaces, whichever notation you prefer. But how do you ask the computer for such a complicated pattern? This is where regular expressions come in. You can specify a simple string to get the computer to look for a complex pattern in a huge collection of texts. You can use this to extract emails, phone numbers, to get alternate spellings for words, and um, with this, manipulate the text so that it's in a way that is more regular for the computer to learn from it, for example. Let's start at the beginning. Regular expressions are a notation, a kind of programming language, used to specify text strings. Essentially, you give the program a string and then tell it to find that within a larger string or a document. And the computer is very literal about it. If you give it the, pa the pattern R-O-B-O-T, as in robot, it's going to search for exactly that. For example, if you have the document robot, comma, robots, it's going to find the first word and then only a fragment of the second word. It's not going to give you the S because you did not specify it in your regular expression. Let me show you how it would work. I'm going to use one of the regular expression testers that's on your lower left screen. I'm going to use Regex 101, but you can use any of the many that are available online. So for example, I have a document that has robot, robots, robot, robots, uppercase, lowercase. If I give it robot, with lowercase, it's going to try to find exactly that. And you can see that it found it twice. Robot and robot without the S. Very little. As you noticed, regular expressions are case sensitive. If you tell the computer to find uppercase R, O, B, O, T, it's going to find robot and robots with the uppercase, but it's not going to see the one with the lowercase. For example, if I change this to uppercase robot, you can see how it finds the, the second, the words in the second line, but not the words in the first line, because it's literally looking for uppercase R, lowercase O, lowercase B O T. We probably want to find words that are either in lowercase or uppercase because they're the same word. We can specify more than one option using brackets, square brackets. So for example, here, square bracket R, lowercase r, uppercase r, square bracket tells you that it should find one of those two characters, but just one between the lowercase or the uppercase. If you give it the same string that we had and do this, it's going to find one character from the list of lowercase r, uppercase R, and then literally O-B-O-T, all lowercase. So this finds all four cases of robot within our text. You can also specify ranges for the options within the square brackets. So for example, if you tell it to look for every character between A and Z, and then for the characters A, T, it's going to find words like cat and bat, but it is not going to find at because the pattern tells it to look for three things, one character in the range, the A and the T. For example, we have here cat, bat, rat, at. If we tell it to find the A and the T is going to find it in some of them, but it's going to miss part of the words. If we tell it to find everything between A and Z, followed by an A and a T. It's going to find only the lowercase ones, and it is not going to tag the last word of the line because that one is missing a character. It only has two characters, and a regular expression has three. 
we can of course specify ranges that are longer. For example, we can tell the computer to give us everything in the lowercase a to z and in the uppercase a to z so that it can find cat, bat, and rat no matter if the, the and it wouldn't matter if they're lowercase or uppercase. So we have a through z and it finds all of those words that have a consonant and that have and that then have the letters a and t but it doesn't uh, tag a t because that one's missing a character notice again that it only finds one character within the whole list in the square brackets there's other ways of providing alternatives for the regular expressions for example you can use the pipe character the or character if you have a string that like the cat is great, the dog is great, you can find either the word cat or dog. As you can see here, cat, dog, will find you either one of those, but only with the lower case. We can use, same as we did before, uh, square bracket C, lowercase, uppercase, A, T, or D, D, OG to find cats or dogs in either uppercase or lowercase. Let me show you. D, D. So that, was found, the, that regular expression finds every instance of cat or dog, regardless of whether it's uppercase or lowercase. There are several wildcards that you can use. Um, for example, the question mark will find the character zero times or one times, one time. Um, the word color, for example, is written in different ways throughout the English speaking world. Sometimes it's written color, as in the US, without a U, or sometimes it's written color with the U, like they do in uh, Great Britain or New Zealand. So C-O-L-O -O finds the letters C-O-L-O, -O, and then square bracket U question mark, will find you will tell you whether there's zero or one occurrences of the letter u as you see here and as you can see the square brackets are not necessary for that one color and color are the same word and this regular expression allows us to find it regardless of its spelling so the question mark allows you to find something either zero times or one time the star, also called the cleanie star, lets you find something zero or more times. So in the expression B O cleanie star H, and the cleanie star is just the asterisk on your keyboard, you can find uh, it will match the the string B H, which is B zero times O H, and it also match Bo Boo 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 and so forth. This is useful if you're looking for data on Twitter, for example, where someone might write what with one A, what with three A's, or what with 10 A's. They're all the same word. So B, O, star, H will match all of these. B, zero, um, O, H, as in B, H, and then Bo, Boo, and so forth. The period, the dot, will match any character, but just once. So beg dot n matches begin, begun, began, back 3 n, but it wouldn't match beg n because you need at least one character there to occur once. So beg dot n matches the beg literally, then any character once than the letter N. So this one, the B-E-G-N, is not marked as, a, as an instance of the regular expression. The plus sign allows you to find something one, one time or more times, once or more. So this will mark Bo, Boo, but not B-H, because you need the O to occur at least once. Let's practice. For example, let's build a regular expression that can uh, find all of these four phrases. I am going. You should pause the video and then unpause it so that you can see the solution. Pause it now, and welcome back. 
So, hello, John and Alberto, and your name, and of course, insert your own name, would be something like this. First, we need literally the word hello, literally the comma, literally the space, and then any character as many times as it's needed. So this matches literally hello, comma, space, and then any character many times, which matches the names. This will find all of the four sentences. Let's do something more advanced. How about we extend it to hello John without a comma, hello Alberto with a comma, hi, comma, your name. Go ahead and uh, give it a try and pause the video. And welcome back. So, this one's a little bit more challenging. We could have, first, try to find literally the hello. We're going to face the problem that the comma could happen zero times or one time. So we're going to have comma, question mark, so that we can have the comma zero times or one times. Then we need the space, because there's always a space between the hello and the words. And then any letter, as many times as it's needed. This finds three of our sentences, not four. So we need to provide the option for it to, for the greeting to be either hello or hi. So this matches hello or hi, comma, zero times or one time, space, and then any character, as many times as it's needed. We shall continue with more options for regular expressions.